I just stole Diane's purse because I felt like it could be cute with this one. <laughs> Are catching me on a weekend and I'm actually about to do all the research for New York Fashion Week before I go thrift street style which is the fun new series that I'm doing here on my channel and I thought it'd be fun actually for you to just join me in my process of finding the inspiration for New York Fashion Week really pinpointing the things that I'm noticing, the things I'm loving, and then just what I'm going to take with me into the thrift store. And before we get started diving into all the street style, I just wanted to share that my partner for today's video is Anna Luisa. You have heard about them from me before. I absolutely love Anna Luisa jewelry. I've been wearing their pieces for years now. They're literally on my body every single day, probably in my ears, on my hands, or around my neck. I love that they offer high quality jewelry for really reasonable prices and really just become your essential jewelry for every single day. Their designs are so affordable. They really have everything within your budget starting at $39. What's also great is that they're carbon neutral and climate neutral certified. I picked out some really fun pieces this month. I've been loving a full on ear party, I think for a while now, but I just like mixing up and wearing different ones in each ear. And so I just really played around with a bunch of kind of mini hoops or smaller earrings so that I could kind of mix and match and throw them all over my ears with all of my fun piercings. And I think I'm getting a new one. So I'm excited to throw on that new Ana Luisa earring to this hole right here, probably this week. And their quality really is incredible. Some of the pieces that I'm actually wearing today I've had for a year or even two and so they really just stood the test of time and they're so classic that i feel like you can always be wearing them and dressing up in them and we are still in the month of february so right now anna luisa is offering a buy one get one 50 off so you can get matching jewelry with your bff so click the link down below to get in on that buy one get one 50 off it ends february 23rd so if you see this after i still have an offer for you and it's B Jones 20 and you'll get 20% off anything from Anna Luisa. So make sure you click the link down below to get in really quickly on this deal to get buy one, get one 50% off or use the code B Jones 20 to get 20% off after this special. Okay, I'm so pumped to do this. We're going to dive into New York Fashion Week and the street style. If you missed the first video, I'm doing a series where I am thrifting street style from all the different cities that we are seeing during fashion month. So last week you saw me thrift Copenhagen street style and now I'm doing New York Fashion Week, which I just think it's really fun to see what everyone wears to the shows. It's also great because it's winter, so I feel like it's what we're currently wearing now. And it's a great way to just be inspired for the here and now. And then it's really just kind of the ultimate always play dress up moment. And so I think it's fun to take this challenge to go to the thrift store and really just work with what I can find, treating the thrift store kind of as the Vogue closet, bringing looks to life with what I can find that I think would be something I might wanna wear, you know, to all of these different cities for Fashion Week. And we are gonna focus on New York street style. I think the biggest thing I felt from New York was there's a little bit more edge that I noticed, like a kind of a cool, edge to a lot of the looks or also a little bit of that like kind of downtown feel you know like there's like a tough element added in to a lot of the looks and then i think you know mixed within that there's definitely some influence of bella hadid i think that i'm seeing especially in new york fashion week where you can kind of pinpoint like oh that's a bella hadid moment for sure and then we've got the editors, the New York editors, some of the amazing ones that have been around for a while and just have such a chic, cool, timeless sense of style that to me is just always inspiring and great to see. And we've just got those classic trench coats that were everywhere and the browns and the camels and all of that. And then also just people having fun, you know, playing with color, playing with mixing things up, definitely getting a little more quirky. But if I had to kind of say one thing I noticed the most was definitely like a cool edge was added to a lot of them. 
I probably am drawn to more of those quirky street style looks, the more colorful, the the looks that are juxtaposing different ideas together. To me, that's what, I don't know, is so much fun and so magical. And so that those are the looks that I was definitely drawn to. And there was definitely a few standout trends that I saw. I mean, of course, it's winter, so coats. I guess it was a little warmer than it normally is, so I feel like people didn't necessarily have to dress for like crazy bundled up warmth. They could just have fun with their layers and their coats, and so I saw a lot of leather pieces, a lot of trench coats, and then a lot of the kind of bomber style or varsity jacket or moto jacket. I saw a lot of that being worn in lots of different versions of that. So that's definitely something I'm gonna kind of keep my eye out for is some kind of fun layering pieces. And then yeah, I think kind of that cool edge that I really feel like was streamed lined through a lot of the looks throughout fashion week. Ultimately, it comes down to what I can find in the thrift store. And I think I'm gonna head to somewhere different. I like to mix it up a little bit to feel like I'm in a fresh new spot that, you know, I haven't thrifted in recently. So I'm excited. We're going to take the challenge to head to the thrift store and see what I can find to style up. I'm going to try again to do two different looks inspired by New York Fashion Week. But guess what? We are headed to the thrift store again. We're going to go check out what we can find for New York Fashion Week inspired looks. I'm going to try to create a look or two here if we can. Also, I just wanted to let you know that Diana's behind the camera. Hey guys. Where's Diane? Which, by the way, it's Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day. So guys. we're both inspired. Oh, I love it. Very Thank like you. goth romantic That's with a little girly for. twist. I love <laughs> and I'm feeling like Clueless Valentine's vibe. So I'm Cher from Clueless. Mixed with Heather, maybe. Yes, mixed with some Heather's reference. And then it's also Valentine's. So wearing my favorite blazer that I just don't wear all the time. So I was excited to pull it out mm -hmm. with so a little cute. tennis skirt. But I think we should see what we can find. We're in a new Goodwill. This is yes, one that I, I've only come to one time years ago. So fingers crossed that it's going to be a good day. that I saw was statement coats, leather, printed, amazing, patchwork, whatever. So I'm gonna first head into coats and see if I can find a few options to work with. Right away I spotted this black coat that I think I really like the drape. I love these really bold shoulders. And then this collar detail makes it super chic. And I could see this kind of even maybe belted up for something fabulous. Like here? Look at this, okay, incredible Sassoon double breasted window pane print. This is super chic. Totally see this within a New York Fashion Week look and my own personal closet. <laughs> I just wanted this creamy camel colored laser. What I really love about this is how cinched it is at the waist with these really round shoulders. I could see this with like a great pop, great pair. <laughs> trouser pants and like a pointy toe pump and then maybe a trench coat over that for like a really neutral palette. I just found this skirt suit which I really love mainly these buttons. They remind me of something Scaparelli would have on theirs and they're very, I mean they're metal, they're really nicely made. And I don't know, I feel like this could be a cool piece or set really to really kind of style it up and elevate it away from this, you know, super, you know, work wear to more New York street style. I just found this, which, you know, it is just kind of a basic blazer, but it's this beautiful. It almost looks handmade from Buffalo, New York, but what I love is like these little stitching details. It has a western feel to it, but because of the tailoring, it feels very chic and could look, again, I feel like I'm kind of falling into this neutral palette, which we did see a lot in New York with this, and I think this would be a really great piece to do some western styling for downtown urban cowgirl. Like a 
Ralph Lauren feel. I don't know if it's exactly what I'm looking for, but I'm still gonna throw it in my cart just because it might be something to work with. Could create something good. Not sure. Potential. We'll see. Kind of like a cargo Tweety pant. These. These are Vivian Tam pants. It's like a good classic gray trouser pant. Just found this little wrap skirt. I think this could be really cute to do with some sneakers and tights and maybe like a big cozy jacket. Very fun. There's no way. I mean these are so tiny but look at these corduroy vintage pants I just found. And like you have to see this tag. Look. So cute. An old little like western 70s tag. I love that but also I wanted to show you another skirt for more of that like kind of bold dressing like mixed print moment that we saw. I love this. You know I'm loving this. Like this is this is me for sure. Ooh. That's fun. I love this. Just found this vintage, very wooly. I also think sometimes like an outfit can be so interesting with the textures that you mix. So like putting a very textured skirt with, you know, a button down and then like a wooly sweater over it and then doing a trench coat or something on top. And then you do like a tall boot. So I, I think mixing leathers and you know, wooly pieces and classic cottons can make an outfit really interesting. I love this one with all the tiers and then it's got the shine in it. And I think more low waisted, it would create like a really full, here I'll show you, like kind of a very full look, which could be really beautiful. I also found this one with the hounds too. It's a little big, but I think for this, it could work just to style up a look, you know, with this as an inspiration. wrap skirt. I also love that this is more of a midi length. I feel like it could be so great with some tall boots and layer it all up. I gotta find all the layers. Uniform skirt. I definitely have had a moment buying these recently. I actually like this one though because I like the gray and then this kind of red plaid in the mix and then more of that like kick pleat that I think is so cute. It's a great classic skirt. This is actually Bowden. You can see the tag here. I love this wrap style with the leather buckle and even just the red lining in there. I think it's so cute. I've seen a few of these. I think they're micro minis. They're just Velcro. I've seen them around, but I think what's fun about them is you could add them to skirts or pants or dresses and make them into, like you've added a layer or almost act as a belt. I think that's a really cute styling piece. duster coat. I love this rusty red color. This could be really great. It's got little slits on the side. But yeah, I think this could be interesting. I don't know exactly. I just think this is really kind of fun. Look at it. It has roses on the back. It kind of reminds me of something Sandy Liang would have on the runway. A little bit ballet core, romantic baby doll moment. I don't know. These are fun. These gold boots. These are cute little pointy toe pumps. I like this all over. Almost like, looks like animal. Like armadillo or something. I don't know. <laughs> With these straps here. And they even have little bows on the back. Oh, it's cute. It's really cute. My side. I just found this vintage um, city jacket, but it doesn't actually have decals on it, which is kind of cool. And 
and it's like, I mean, this is old, it's, you can tell, like the lining and stuff. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is perfect. Found this vintage cardigan. I love the shoulder pad balloon sleeve, and this color is so pretty. This periwinkle lavender color. I've gone through the kind of main centers of the store that I want to go through. I'm going to go through my cart now and start to see if some ideas are coming together and then I'll go back and actually find, you know, the fill-in pieces from there. because I feel like there's some really fun pieces, like multiple. And so I kind of have to hone in on a few of the essentials and build around those. I'm really wanting to do more than that, but you know, we gotta keep this to a certain time limit. And definitely, I feel like this is very me. So I think something around that could be really cool. I like that idea. I think I am definitely going to build a look around this jacket. It's the best jacket that I found. I feel like I didn't actually find that many jackets today. And I feel like it's ticking the box on some of those kind of very downtown, a little bit Bella Hadid probably inspired, and just like cool and effortless. I'm liking the juxtaposition of this skirt and this top together. I even maybe like the idea of, I don't know yet, but putting this underneath it. I don't know, to play around. This is also cute, that would be really cute. Denim, and maybe even the men's denim. And then I need to look at shirts to kind of bring all this together. Found some kind of cool, like streetwear looking, Pants could be fun to style, and also I found some riding pants, legit riding pants. Not sure how these will look on, but I need some interesting options. I just found this amazing shirt that has these beautiful, like a golden thread woven <laughs> through stripe pattern. It's definitely a vintage piece. You can see the tag used to be in there. It has snap buttons all down the front. I'm loving the drama of this. skirt. I wasn't loving the shirt with it, so I pulled this hot pink old express sweater. I think this could be really cute or this little green cardi moment. So I'm going to try them on. I'm loving this. I'm going to go see if it looks good with the varsity jacket. I love it. I love the varsity jacket over this hot pink with this wild fun floral skirt. And then I'm thinking gold boots. So much fun with the gold boot. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, I'm gonna go see if there's a bag or a hat or something fabulous. I'm ready for street style in their fashion week. I love this so much. This is 100% something I would wear. Definitely the skirt was the statement for me. That was the go-to must-have. And then I couldn't figure out the top, but when I found this hot pink, I felt like that really accented the colors in the skirt and felt like a really bright pop to go with this juxtaposing varsity jacket. I love that it has the yellow detail in it as well. 
and then I mean the gold boots to me just make it so much fun. And final little details was this little green olive bag. Felt more schoolgirl, which I liked and structured. And then I just I need to add a hat, so I did this woolly black hat, which is so cute. party in here. <laughs> I'm not going to stay up a look with this because I kind of just feel like I would wear this with some cute little shoes. Very Simone Rocha. We're also Sandy Leang. Mm -hmm. But I had to show you because it's so cute. Little flowers. Here we show the back. Yeah, the back is gorgeous. Mm, I love it. Very sweet. So cute. So checking in on look two. I'm definitely loving the idea of doing something with these pants for kind of more of a downtown cool vibe and then look at these boots they're so good and I love the little pointy toe I like <laughs> over them and then I found this Pretty Bill sure, Blast yeah. shirt which I think is cool I don't know I'm still playing around and also this hat this is all just like playing right now I felt like it could be cute. <laughs> it actually pulls it together quite know, nicely. You need to like cross body with this look. With the shoes. Love yes. that. Okay, thank you. Very cute. fun i thrifted the runway or no i didn't thrift the runway i thrifted the street style of new york fashion week and both looks turned out kind of fun like model off duty and one was more maybe like playful fun editor vibes it's always fun to kind of see what i find in the store and then where that leads as you build an outfit and head to toe pretty much everything is from the thrift store except for borrowing Diane's bag. <laughs> but I think it's fun, the challenge of trying to figure out if you can put a whole look together that feels street style worthy in the thrift store at Goodwill. Pretty fun. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I have new videos every single Thursday. I will be doing another one of these, I think, next week. And it will probably be inspired by London, I think or Milan. Can't remember which one is coming next, but it will be a good one and I will see you next time. Always play dress up. Bye! Bye.